hello there. Doing a little unexpected stream today. Just a quick one. I got another new headset. I've been having a run of bad luck with headsets, so I thought I'd give a different one a try. So hopefully this goes a little bit better. And I was just going to do a little bit of tidying up as well. As you can see, I have a lot of a lot of saves going on that I don't really need. So let's delete some of these and clear out a little bit. Oh, that's where everything turned bad when we killed Walter. Poor Walter. Let's just see what else can probably go. I don't even remember why I have this one. This could go. And that's me in the vault of the Garys. I've got plenty of other saves I can use if I ever want to go and visit Gary. Vault 106. I don't even remember which one Vault 106 is. That's back when I was just a pirate of the wastes. You can see now I'm a scourge of humanity, which I think is a bit unfair. I think they're doing me a great disservice calling me that. So, when we last joined, no, sorry, when we last streamed, rather, we were helping out, oh god, I should have prepared this a bit better, I don't remember the name of the town it was, that place with the superheroes, yes, that'll do. And we dealt with the antagonizer, as we can see here. Antagonizer dealt with, so we were dealing with the mechanist, and what I wanted to do was get every single prize available. Canterbury Common, that's the one. Canterbury Common, yes. That's the last place we were at. We dealt with the antagonizer in a variety of ways. The way that I have officially dealt with her is. I used the Grognak the Barbarian comic against her, and she gave me her outfit and left. She could give you a unique combat knife, but I didn't really think I would need it. I preferred a cool outfit, so... I then went to see the Mechanist, I got the unique laser pistol from him, and then I shot him in the back, because I wanted his outfit as well. But then I made the unfortunate mistake of when I got back home, I was putting everything into my storage cupboard, and then I accidentally hit the take all button from my cupboard. So I had about 600 carry weight of crap. And I figured the best thing to do instead of putting it all back one by one was just to end things there. So let's go back and see the mechanist again. How do I sound by the way? How does this new new microphone sound? Hopefully better than the last one. Right, here we are. Back with the mechanist again. No, don't talk to me yet. Don't talk to me yet. I want your scrap metal. If you kill him, then he won't give you the unique laser pistol. It's not on his body. He just has a generic laser pistol. The only way to get it is to actually get a peaceful resolution with him. Well done. You have defeated the vile antagonizer. And so, you brought back her <laughs> I have like so 10,000 weights in my cabinet. I'm a bit of, of a hoarder. Hand yeah, yeah, shut up, we know. Yeah, I'm a bit of a hoarder, yes. Uh, I'm not quite a 10k weight in there yet, but I do have a lot of crap in there. A lot of a lot of hats. Hats and unique outfits and clothes that I'm never going to wear, but I thought looked cool, so I might just hold on to them. And... Oh yeah, he's asking for the suit. Here you go, you can have it. Just leave Canterbury alone. Excellent. The evil taint of the antagonizer will never darken the land again. Now that the antagonizer is taken care of, 
Canterbury Commons is safe. And yes, yes, we know. Oh, he's given me no, no, no. Hang on, he's taken the costume. What do you think you're doing? Protect Tron's gaze. I don't think I'm doing anything. Just keep looking at that. Bye, mechanist. There we go. Now I take back all the costumes. And because I took strong back, I'm not overweight yet. I want a three-hour stream of pure inventory admin, please. There's not too much admin to do right now. I've got a lot of good stuff here. You, it's mostly unique weapons. I've got Vengeance, Terrible Shotgun, Sydney's 10mm. The Railway Rifle, that was a lot of fun in the Vault of the Garys. The Vault of the Garys was excellent in the last episode. I was strictly using Shish Kebab, Railway Rifle and Power Fist. Also, I did the wedding on Rivet City. I did the Rivet City wedding and I just couldn't help myself. I think about 15 minutes of it was spent railway rifling people, throwing grenades, uh, meleeing people, shish kebabbing people, throwing grenades as confetti. It was a beautiful, beautiful day. There we go, so a lot of good unique stuff here. Lincoln's repeater, probably my favourite gun now. In terms of apparel. Oh yeah, these need to go in the cabinet. I I was going to go around and get a a, um, a vault jumpsuit from every vault. So I've got vault 101 here, vault 108, I need to go and get the other ones. Of course I've got my naughty nightwear. Let's go to lab coat, good stuff there. Buttons are weird. Oh actually yes, that's what I did last stream. I retired the naughty nightwear, because Buttons wig is just better. Yeah, the Naughty Nightwear is officially retired now, in favour of Button's wig. Let's see how that looks on me. Hey, <laughs> That looks good. That looks good with the geeky glasses. But of course our usual hat is, of course, U Eulogy Jones's hat. Yeah, yeah, we do. Who says you can't murder in style? Don't worry, um, Eulogy Jones is, is still alive. He just left his hat on his table for no apparent reason. Along with, which rather, which felt rather important. Hang on, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Where's my keys? Oh, never mind. He left the key to the box on the table. And if you don't know, the box is where he's keeping one of the guys from Paradise Falls. Or one of the friends of Paradise Falls. And he just left it on his table. So that will come in useful later when I'm doing Paradise Falls. Uh, shotgun Wedding. I didn't actually... I, I'm really regretting not doing that now because that's a really good visual pun. But no, I didn't shotgun anybody. I can, ah, hang on, I can always go back and do that. Yeah, when we're finished here, I'll go back and do that. We can go back to the wedding. Also... Oh, hang on a minute. I've got the ex experimental Merv in my cabinet. Along with five mini nukes. We need to go. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oh, no I, no, I can't. Sorry, no. I got all excited then, but I realised that on, um, on this save here, my wedding save, I don't think I'll have it. Because I hadn't been to see the Keller family yet. I'm not sure. I, m I may have done. I'll have to have a look. But we can always go back and attend the wedding with what we have. So I'm going to go and turn back in, the turn this, turn in this quest once again. Hopefully, Canterbury Commons will be happy with us and give us a decent reward. The rest of you guys can just remain alive. We don't have any quarrel with you. Oh, five, five, six. If nothing else, I can sell it. Energy cells, flame of fuel, yes, lots of good stuff to sell. How is my money doing, by the way? 3,159 caps. I'd say we're doing pretty well. Let's not bother going to find Dad. Let's just live in... Live in Tenpenny Tower and be happy there. 
Oh, you idiot. Oh, I don't care what's behind it. Stuff I don't need. So if we have a look at the map and we can have a look at where we've been so far. Vault 108 is done. I've got Corfega Factory. That's just full of ants. Haven't really been in there much yet. Done the National Guard Depot. We've been to the History Museum. The National Archives is done. Busting Gwinnett made himself explode. Republic of Dave is done. Ah, here we go. Fort Constantine. So I've got all the keys that Mr. Crowley wanted. Of course, we're not. We're just going to betray Mr. Crowley. There's not much point in me going there at the moment because I don't have any use for power armor yet. Arlington Library. That's where Moira wants us to go next. Jefferson Memorial. That's the next spot for the for the main quest. Oasis. Oasis and Little Lamplights. No, that's Shellbridge. Little Lamplight. I haven't been into either of those yet. Those are some of the big story quests that I still have to do. One note from Frank. Oh, grab the key from behind my terminal and... Key from behind my terminal. Oh, I don't care. I don't need them anyway. At this rate, I could just shoot robots in the back of the head. Also, we're getting close to going into some DLC. Oh, hello, friendly, friendly Yaogwai. Don't push your luck, stranger. Oh, all right, all right. I won't tamper with your shopping trolley. Yes, I remember. I remember this guy. First time I met him, I thought this was some kind of glitch. That he actually had a friendly bear. Oh, no. Good bear. Good bear. All right. So let's wait till daytime, and then we're going to speak to Canterbury Commons. Yeah. So a, D a DLC will be coming up soon. I've, I've, I've got um. Broken Steel installed, obviously we can't do that till the end of the game. And Mothership Zeta, which, let's be honest, nobody really wants to see. Because Mothership Zeta is not very good. I, I even, here we go, we can have a look. I even went into uh, Mothership Zeta on one of my other saves. Because I thought, it's, I don't like this DLC, so I'll just do it off screen and get it out of the way. And I couldn't even, I couldn't even finish it. I just, got, I got so bored, and so it was almost breaking the game how good the stuff it was giving you. And I didn't want to take it back into the wasteland with me because it would just sort of ruin the rest of the game. Like it just gives you a whole plethora of alien destructors and alien epoxies, so you never need anything else after that. And I figured it would kind of take the point of the game away, where you're just here to survive, but Zeta's like, oh no, here's here's some here's the, some of the best weapons in the game. You don't really need to try anymore. So I'm not gonna do Mothership Zeta on on um, on stream. I might do it. Oh, and the other reason I was doing it. Oh shit, you're a scorpion. The other reason I was doing it was because there's a, somebody on there who can who has a repair skill of skill of a hundred. But once you finish it, they just leave the game. And it's not like you can go back and forth between Mothership Zeta before you finish it. So my whole purpose of going there was completely redundant. And there was no there's just no point in me going back, going to going to do it. Zeta is great if you're a fan of nondescript corridors. Yeah, you'd you'd be surprised how quickly the novelty of shooting innocent aliens can wear off, but it, it does. So not Mothership Zeta. That leaves Point Lookout, The Pit, and Operation Anchorage. The one that I was thinking of doing is The Pit. Uh, 
Oh, oh pit is fantastic, says the chat. Yeah, uh, I've had the pit very, very much recommended. It's probably the one I know the least about. How do Uncle Ro? Here you go, here's your quest. Bugger off. All 600 caps and some XP. Thanks, bye. Is this on Xbox? Yes, it is. This is the uh, 1X enhanced version of Fallout 3. Yeah, I'm not... One, one day I'd like to get into PC gaming, but right now it's weird and scary to me. So I just stick with what I've got for now. You have to do pit before you install Lookout. Why do I have to do that? That's not a thing I've heard of before. Otherwise it makes a ledge glitch in the pit and makes part of it inaccessible. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that happened. Okay, so... Complete the pit and finish everything there before even installing Point Lookout. Alright, well it's a good thing I was going to do the pit first anyway. I, I think I will. Operation Anchorage just doesn't seem that interesting to me. And Point, point Lookout is quite interesting. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do the pit. Maybe in a couple days. I'd probably like to get a bit further into into the main game before I do that. I don't. I wouldn't want to make the rest of this sort of almost too easy. Then again, I have now got. Uh, what's, what have I got? Oh yeah, super mutant overlords. Fucking overlords are in the game. I I hate overlords. They're they're really not fun to fight in any way. They just they just have a lot of health. Uh, yeah, it was a ball like I did lookout, then pit, then had to un and install lookout, complete the pit, and then do lookout again. Yeah, that sounds mildly inconvenient. There you go, if I get science to 90, then with Let's Go's lab coat, I can do any terminal. Lockpick. Hmm. I can do lockpick, I can do lockpick of 100 if I put on the vault jumpsuit and take some mentats, so that's okay. I can always go to a doctor if I get addicted. Let's get energy weapons up a bit more. Now what perk did I get did I take for level twenty one? I think I might have taken Grim Reaper's sprint. Oh no I didn't. I know what I took. I took Entomologist, because I fucking hate rad scorpions. I just said there is anything else worth taking. Gunslinger. Mm, I do love the Black Hawk, but generally I'm I'm close enough anyway just to one shot them in the head. Fast metabolism would be good. I do get through a lot of stim packs, but then I've got nearly a hundred them. Life giver. Hmm. Silent running and adamantium skeleton are the other other good ones. Although I'm I'm about as subtle I'm about as subtle as a brick to the head, so there's not really much point in me even trying to be sneaky. Adamantium skeleton would be good as well, but. And light step, as I said before, I think it's funny at this point how much I step on landmines. So I, I, I don't think I want to get rid of the landmines, I'd rather just keep stepping on them. 
I find it funny at this point. Yeah, I'll make the scorpions a bit easier. Also, Corvega Factory. I'll be going there soon, and that's full of ants. How do you feel, by the way, that I've made your heroes yes. go away? No, you don't care. Okay. Uh oh, gonna sneeze. <coughs> hmm, sorry about that. I know everybody loves to hear the sound of sneezes. Right, let's go back to Tenpenny Tower, offload our stuff. The sad reality is I actually have no use whatsoever for the antagonizer outfit or the mechanist outfit. The mechanist outfit I think just looks stupid anyway. And the antagonizer outfit... Hang on, where is it? Only has a damage resistance of 12. And there's not that many people in the world that can repair it that well. And I don't have anything to repair it with. I'll just quickly have a look. Um, yeah, no, the costume can only be repaired by non-player characters at a cost. And there's not really many people in the world with good enough repair for it. And as you can see, the condition bar is pretty much halfway. And the resistance is at 12, so double that, 24. And my combat armor is already infinitely better. And there's a million people in the world who will sell me more combat armor so I can just repair it myself. Such as Lydia, for example. Those Hello, Lydia. Those won't be bothering us. You say that every single time. Here we go, combat armor already. Also, lever armor. Sometimes she has... What's the other one? Recon armor. So both of those, all of those are already better than the, the antagonizer outfit. Mechanizer costume, again. Same thing, really. And it just looks a bit ridiculous. I, I might wear the antagonizer's helmet. Damage resistance of four. No, hang on. Change your outfit. So that's it. Oh. oh, yeah, I forgot that happens. My glasses poke for it. Yeah, I think it, look, it looks better with the recon armor. I prefer the look of the recon armor in general, but... The combat armor has better damage resistance. Yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. But, honestly, I think my favorite look still... Hang on, no, not that. My favorite look is still... Hang on. Uh, yeah. The combat armor with the pimp hat and glasses. I think that's fabulous. With Button's wig there, just to pass speech checks. Right, let's offload this stuff once again, and remember not to take everything out of the cabinet. Hi, dog meat. Hello, God. Good morning, madam. What can I do for you? Have you got a new joke a for me? Walks into a bar. How much for a drink here, anyway? To which the bartender responds, uh, for you, no charge. <laughs> Godfrey's getting really tired. No, I'm getting really tired of Godfrey. The novelty of him is wearing off very quickly. I would shoot him, but I don't know if he, he gets replaced if you shoot him. Apparently there's one that you get in Megaton, if you save Megaton. Oh, the Charisma Bobblehead. There we go, we've got all... All of the special bobblehead, Bobbleheads at the top there now. We've just got a few more of the, um, the skills bobbleheads to get. Energy weapons, big guns. I think barter as well. Or is that the... Oh no, that's the barter bobblehead. 
Yeah, so a couple more of those to get. No, don't sit in the chair, you idiot. Here you go, here's everything in my desk. Here's the experimental Merv. Gatling laser, lever armor, lever armor. The Doos hockey mask. I don't need that anymore because I've already got a perk that gives me 20. I've got Action Girl, so that already gives me 25 AP, the Mesmatron. Old Painless because it just wasn't. Of of the unique guns, it's the, the least good. Certainly not bad, but it was just the least good of what I had. Basic plasma rifle, load of irradiated food. Oh, here we go. Here's, here's the clothes. We've got, we've got Lucas Sims's outfit here. The break, the unique pool cue, the surgeon's lab coat. A lot more booze. Reservist rifle, the other unique sniper rifle. Red's bandana. Right, so what can go in here? Yeah, mechanist helmet, mechanist costume, antagonizer helmet, antagonizer costume. My Vault 108 jumpsuits. I'll keep my 101 jumpsuit. Abe Lincoln, he can go in there. Okay, that's a bit of inventory management. Also, we got... Where is it? The Protectron's Gaze. Which... Oh, I've got a lot of ammo for it. And it's also very good because it fires five shots at once. At the expense of one energy cell. I'll just do a quick example on Godfrey here. Sorry, Godfrey. And who gets to clean up all this blood? <laughs> How did you miss? Sorry, Godfrey. Pretty slow reload, but yeah, five shots all concentrated into one, and pretty accurate as well. All right, I don't want a dead butler, so I'll just reload that. Okay, so that's where I got to last time before I accidentally picked up all of my stuff. As for the rest of the world, we've got all the slaves that the, the slavers wanted in Paradise Falls. We've recruited all of them. Uh, Harkness knows he is a a synth, and we we picked up his unique we picked up his unique weapon. Went to Zimmer, ratted Harkness out, got the perk from Zimmer, and then killed Zimmer. Who else? Yeah, Moira wants us to go to the library. We've got all the keys from Mr. Crowley. We've got a little lamp light and we've got Oasis to do. Hello. Hello. And we've got a lot of stuff to do for the main quest, which I've barely touched. Like, we haven't even gone to f even find Liam Neeson yet. He's still just in, par in um, Tranquility Lane. But we don't even know the existence of Tranquility Lane yet. I haven't been down to the Jefferson Memorial because I was worried that would trip up that would trigger Enclave. But apparently it won't, so we should be okay. Wheat and Armory I haven't really been into, I just passed it by. Corvega, that'll be worth going into, I think. Hubris Comics, I just went into briefly just to pick up the magazine to trick the antagonizer. The Vault 92 is done. Vault 108 is done. 106 is done. 101. Obviously they'll they'll call me back again soon. Fort Bannister, I need to go back and do. So there's lots of good stuff to look forward to as well as DLCs. So plenty plenty more content to come from from Fallout 3. Which I'm really happy about because I I really liked Fallout 3. 
Uh, I think I even enjoy I even enjoy it more than New Vegas. I'll agree that New Vegas is the best is a much better story, much better story, better characters as well. But I just like I like being in Fallout Three. I like the world of Fallout Three. It's a bit of a shame that it doesn't have the ability to. Where in Fallout New Vegas you could have two people looking at each other and just kill one from behind and the other one just doesn't acknowledge it anyway. I find that infinitely hilarious. That's why I never really get anywhere in New Vegas because I just can't help myself exploiting what is very clearly a broken but hilarious system. Where you can just kill someone who's looking at someone else but you've just crouched behind them. Fallout 3 just does the atmosphere so well. It really feels bleak and horrible and depressing, which is what you want from a game that's immediately post-apocalyptic. Whereas New Vegas, it's more... Civilization is kind of returning in its own post-war, post-nuclear war way. You've got much more, I guess, stable societies and more defined societies. Whereas here, there's still much more of a wasteland to it. And when you do finally come across a society, it's it feels like much more of a relief. It feels more special. Okay, so that's, that's about the tidying up I wanted to do. I, uh, no, 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 save. No, save. You idiot, save. Let's go back to the wedding. If Fort Constantine is uncovered on the... No, not Fort Constantine, the, um... The, uh, d -d 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 what is it? What's it called? Ah, no. Okay, so I don't, I don't have the experimental Merv here, unfortunately. I could always go and get it, maybe. Right. How can we ruin their special day? Oh yeah, shot, shotgun wedding, terrible shotgun. In sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death do you part. I object. Oh, that's a child. No wonder she's not dying. Seagrave Holmes is okay about this. I will keep firing. Oh, Henry Young. Henry Young, this is not going to go well for you. I warned you. I believe Fallout 3 was originally going to be set around 50 years after the bombs dropped, hence why the destruction is so pronounced. They just never bothered to change it. Oh, okay. So how many years... How many years is it now in the current game? Like, as it is now. 200. Is it? I didn't... Oh, shit, okay. Oh, I didn't even know that. Well, I probably did know that, and I just forgot about it. Or I wasn't paying enough attention at, attention at the time. I thought it was so much more recently. 2077 is a bomb drop. This is 2277. Oh, I didn't even... I thought it was much sooner after the bombs fell. Hence why it is such more of a wasteland. So hey, what year is New Vegas set in? I thought New Vegas is after Fallout 3 
in terms of chronology, chronologically. New Vegas is 2282. Okay. Fallout 4, 2287. Yeah, I figured that... I, f I knew Fallout 4 wasn't long after Fallout 3 because McCready's in Fallout 4 and Fallout 3. So is Elder Maxon, actually. I never realised Elder Maxon is in Fallout 3. But he's in Fallout 3 as a child as well as Fallout 4. I knew Fallout 3 and 4 were quite closely linked. And I thought New Vegas was... sort of much more distant. Hence why it was much more of a semi-stable society. Whereas Fallout 3 was much more of a wasteland and more survivalists and raiders wanting to kill you. But no, I didn't even realise that. It was meant to be 200 years. Oh, oh shit. That was a railway. <laughs> oh. oh dear. The minister's head is freaking out. Oh, sorry, Father Clifford. Stop killing me, I need to look at Father Clifford. Stop this. This is sacrilege. I need some help with this one. You killed I did I haven't killed him yet. Get away. Come on, give up. That's a terrible sweater. Is he still going? <laughs> oh, Father Clifford. <laughs> He's repeatedly shaking his head in disapproval. Oh, you're up again, are you, Dr. Preston? I'm not even sure why you're essential, Dr. Preston. Maybe I'll get to it later, or it's just a quest I haven't done yet. Hey! Where? Yeah, get back on the floor. There you go. I, I kind of semi forgot I had the railway rifle out for a second. Yeah, New Vegas 2282. Fallout 3 2277. Oh, I thought there was so much more time between Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Hence why the what, the landscapes were so different. I, I never even realised that. Fallout 3 was 200 years, and 3 and New Vegas were so close together, in terms of like a time scale. Just based on how the world looked. Oh, okay, that's... That's really interesting to know. I didn't even realize that. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. Right, let's um let's throw some confetti to the happy couple. In sickness and in health, to love and <laughs> until death do you part. Oh, I'm still in sexy sleep. <laughs> They're practically jumping for joy. Yeah, uh, as I say, I'm sure this was meant to be 50 years, but then they changed it. But by then, they'd already made the world space. Yeah, 50 years seems seems to make a lot more sense. I'll probably just pretend it is 50 years. Oh yeah, I'll probably just fall back into what I thought before, really. Even though it's not true that it's 50 years and then Fallout 4 is 60 years. Because that'll be 10 years after. And then New Vegas is 200 years. I'll probably just keep thinking that. It, it feels like that makes more sense to me, even if it's not accurate. It's kind of what I've felt for the past almost 10 years since I've been playing these anyway, so. Hold on, 
Where is it? Oh, that was something I was going to do as well. I was going to... I was going to give Sydney a happy ending. Don't take that out of context. I was going to see what happens if you don't kill Sydney. And go to the National Archives. There you go, that might be worth a look. I know that you can go to the Statesman Hotel, I think it is, and get a note from her father. And then, then she gives you her gun, but I kind of just shot her in the face last time. Right, unlock the cargo lift. Oh, you're What's nearly up? dead. Yeah, they got me pretty good. Here, have a stim. Thanks, I'll use it right away. Right, let's go, Sydney. Also, are you going to take kindly to me blowing up Bus and Gwynnet? Because I can never resist doing it. What's up? It looks like we're in the sub-basement hub. I think the door we want is the one to the east. Never been this far in. Only saw it on blueprints. Are you still crippled? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, have another one. There you go, you're fine now. Mm. You still hurt, but you're a bit better. I address you with a message of utmost urgency. Our defenses have been the breached in the archive strongholds at the end of the game. Men, here. we can't let the enemies progress to sort of short us for us for all towers and utility gates to bypass security. Oh, hello. I see you there. Bring it. Yeah, down you go, Mr. Gutsy. Yeah, I've got enough science to repair that. Oh, Protectotron. Yeah, off you go. Oh, yeah, Securitron's down there. Oh no, sen sentry box, hey. that's what you're called. Where? Oh. Got Sienna sentry. Oh, bad time to reload. There you go. Up ahead should be the door to the archive strong room. That's where they keep the declaration. The enemy is at the gates! No. Okay. Just let me put on my sexy wear. There you go, naughty nightwear. There's still a good chance that he won't fall for me being Thomas Jefferson, so I'll make a quick secondary save. There you go, I'll just do it over this one. This was the other one I had, just so I could go back and see Bus and Gwyneth exploding. Oh, hang on. Have a look at this. Back on our, our main save, we're now an Architect of Doom. We've gone up a rank. There you go, we can have a look and see how we develop. So we're a Vault Guardian, Citizen, Pirate of the Wastes, Urban, in urban Invader, Villain of the Wastes, Evil Incarnate, I resent that, Scourge of Humanity, Still a scourge of humanity. Architect of Doom, and then back to Evil Incarnate. I don't even know what I... Oh, wait. Yes, I shot the mechanist in the back of the head, didn't I? Yeah, I can see why the game wouldn't take too kindly to that. I always initially take offence to my karma ranking, but then I remember all the horrible, horrible things I've done. Like, I'll keep saying, all I did was just steal some stim packs and some irradiated food. Oh, wait, I may have blown up Megaton. And also sold people and children into slavery. And also killed a lot of people just to steal their basic medical supplies. 
and free dog. Just give me one second and we'll go in and see Button Gwinnett. Okay, let's say hello to Buttons. Also, let's do some drugs while we're here. Add a great Mentats. Right now, how do you? How are you gonna feel about me sh killing? Ah, what do you make of this Button Gwinnett robot? Look, if you think you can reason with him, go right ahead. My advice: blow its damn head off. It's obviously malfunctioning. Either way, I'll let you decide. Anything that gets us closer to the prize is fine by me. Oh, you're completely fine with me. Guilting, guilt, guilt tripping and blackmailing Button Gwennett into exterminating himself. Okay, glad we see eye to eye on that. Also, have another stim pack. Oh, I used one myself. Okay, you've hello Buttons. You've our defences, evaded our best soldiers, and you've raided my home. But I have not yet begun to fight. I... Yes, yes, shut up. We dealt with you before. And I've done, I've in, I intelligenced him in my last stream, so let's try something else. <laughs> Get out of my way, you lunatic. I will not stand down, ma'am, to quote the words of the great Thomas Jefferson. If our house be on fire, without inquiring whether it was fired from within or without, we must try to extinguish it. I find it cute he wears a wig. There's not many robots in Fallout that wear human clothes. Whitechapel Charlie's one of them in Fallout 4. He wears a bowler hat. You can make Codsworth wear a hat as well. I can't think of many other robots in human clothes. <laughs> I have to go now. Um... I'm afraid until I know it? exactly what your intentions are, I can't divulge that top secret information. Oh, very well. There's no harm in that. No, oh, he's suddenly gone quite peaceful. Um... On July 4th, 1776, the Second Continental Congress declared that the original 13 colonies of America were now free and independent states. This... Yeah, yeah, shut up. Yes, I was proud to participate in the signing of the declaration. It was an honor, except maybe for Hancock, that show off. Okay, um. The Lee resolution, enacted two days earlier, was the. Act the declaration mm -hmm. itself was an expansion of that resolution. There never was. Okay. I have to go now. Oh. You've breached our defense. Okay, um... Okay, let's try again, um... I am not a robot. I am Button Gwinnett, second signer of the Declaration of Independence and distinguished representative from Georgia. I know your fighting prowess far exceeds my own, but I will still duel you to the death if I must. What will it be, then? Rapiers? Pistols at dawn? Out with it! Uh, shotguns at two o'clock. Um, you <laughs> stupid bucket of bolts. Yeah, let's, let's, let's go down the petty name-calling route. Suggest such a thing isn't just a falsehood. It's blasphemy. 
blasphemy. The doctrine I defend was laid down by my fellow members of the Second Continental Congress. It absolves us of the tyranny of King George III of Great Britain. It is perhaps the greatest symbol of this free nation. Mm, you die, I get the declaration. Petty lies and deceit may be the way of Great Britain's crown, but I will not succumb to such tomfoolery. Since it appears you wish to resolve this without bloodshed, may I suggest you stand down and surrender? I can promise that you will be treated well, in a manner accustomed to any member of the Royal Army. I do wish to end it without bloodshed. You're a robot, you don't have any blood. Please explain, but I warn you, I am well versed on the tactics of the underhanded Redcoat spy. You do well to remember that. Right, well, uh, da, da, da. let's see if I can Thomas Jefferson him. If not, I'm just going to shoot him in the head. Alive. Here we go. It is both he does his little salute as well. I was hoping this day would arrive. I hope these fortifications are up to your high standards, sir. All of my men await your command to push and retake the capital. May I ask where you intend to bring the document? Mm. Okay, I don't know. I, I, all I've ever seen and done is taking it to the King of Great, Great Britain, then he falls into depression. Okay, what happens if I actually will say it will go to Abraham Washington? So the stars and stripes truly are forever. All hail the red, white, and blue. Does... does this mean the war is over? Have we won? <laughs> uh, yes, Button, we won. It's over? Amen to that. Then I suppose my posting here at the fort is complete. I think you said it best when you said, We in America do not have government by the majority. We have government by the majority who participate. It has been both an honor and a privilege to serve in the army of the United States. What are your final orders? Oh, you can still make him explode. Um, stand down, Basil. Coming from you, that means all the world to me. It's been an honor and a privilege to serve my country. It's time for me to take a long needed rest. I think you'll find that the rest of my men are long due for the same. I hereby relinquish command and control of this fortification to you. Good luck to you, Mr. Jefferson. And give Sally my regards. Ah, oh, and he doesn't make himself explode. Oh, I can't talk to him anymore. So are you just gonna... Hmm. Yeah, he appears to have just shut down. Okay. Hi, Button. Thank you. Oh, and there's my end wig. Independence. Okay, up? we got the independence. Let's get the hell out of here. Time to get paid and get drunk. There should be an elevator to the upper levels somewhere around here. Okay, let's go, Sydney. I never actually knew Button Gwinnett was a real person. I thought it was just a sort of a funny robot just here to guard the files that the game had put in there. Button Gwinnett's a real person. Right, I think there's super mutants around here. Oh, here. Up. Where are you? Oh, you're up there. Oh, fuck it. I thought there was a lot of you. Got your gun. Oh shit.
Oh, Sydney, you idiot. Oh, Sydney. Oh, the whole point of this was keeping you alive. Alright, try again. I'll just speed through Bath and Gwinnett. Wish not so much. Right, I can do it. Yes, hello, buttons. Yes, shut up. Get out of my way. I have to go. Okay, that was easy. There, independence, thank you. Right. Can't we just go back and use the other elevator that we came down here on? Seems also your your gun's upside down. Okay. You do you. Oh no, is this way we we came from? Yeah, I just want to see what happens if you keep her alive and what happens next. Obviously I'm a long, long way ahead of ahead of this part of the game in my actual in my actual run. So no chance I'll be coming back and making this permanent. Oh, hello. Oh, Sydney! What's up? What's up? You did well to survive a point blank shot from the terrible shotgun. Thanks. Okay, follow follow my path of destruction. Yeah, can we not just go up this way? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Have you got anything to say about this? Let's get the hell. No, just get the hell out of here. Come I'm on. Taking the elevator. Just gawking more walking. I like the way you think. What's up? Still Let's nothing head for else Rivet to City. say. Let's head for Rivet City. Mm, okay. Well, you haven't betrayed me yet, which is somewhat reassuring. All right, back to Rivet City. Oh, enemies! Oh, yes, I remember. There were enemies around here. Uh, help me. Where? You help me. That's over. Right, good girl. You didn't get in the way that time. Oh yeah, I'm still. I was in sexy wear the whole time. No wonder I was taking so much damage. Abraham Washington, Capital Preservation Society. Yeah. You're a low life. Get out of my way. We'll let you stay. What's up? Oh, you're rude. 
Wouldn't be a low life after everything I've done for you people. Hello, sir. Oh, hello. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, you're my hero. Don't let it go to your head. Seriously, though. Thank you for getting me away from Duba. Oh, it's you. Oh, hang on. You're trapped behind a door. Yes, yeah, I remember yeah. you now. Yeah, yeah, you're my hero. Right. Don't let Get it go away. to your head. Seriously. Though. Yes, I remember now. I did say I did get you away from Dukov's place. Science lab. No, that's not what I need. Did you hear about preservation the society? I'm oh, here you are. You're here. Things from you. You expect too much. Oh my lord! I never expect. I mean, I'm utterly shocked. You two have earned your places in the annals of American history. Yes, indeed. You will be remembered for this great day. I will award Sydney's promised bounty to her personally. No need to worry yourself about that. Enjoy your reward, my friend. You've earned it. Everything looks okay here. Hello. Hmm, okay. Now, Sydney, What's up? what do you have to say? You know, I think I've had my fill of wasteland roaming and picking through ruined buildings for a while. I'm just gonna kick back and spend my caps. But thanks for asking. Okay, well, I, I knew that you wouldn't be a... You're not a permanent companion anyway. So... Huh. Yeah, tell me about you. I'm surprised that you care. Usually everyone looks out for themselves nowadays. What is it you want to know? I don't know. I grew up pretty much like every other girl in this crappy world. Spent most of my life just trying to keep away from slavers. One day out in the wastes, I stumbled across some poor bastard's body. On the body, I found info leading to some famous document. I had heard that Abraham Washington was looking for these scraps of paper. So, I went after the thing. Turned out to be the Constitution. After he loaded me up with caps, I got pissed drunk, got laid, and was happy for the first time in a while. I haven't looked back since. Hmm. Yeah, it is nice. My father made gun ammunition for a living. Taught me everything about how firearms work. So, I've spent my downtime tinkering with guns like my 10mm Ultra SMG here. It's like a hobby, I guess. Hmm, good for you. I thought he was the best. My mom was long gone, so all we had was each other. He used to call me his little moonbeam. <laughs> How sappy is that? But when I was 14, he vanished and left me all alone. Never even said goodbye. I cried for a week. Do I have to tell you what it's like for a young woman alone in the wasteland at that age? I don't know where he went, and I don't care. I just hope he got what he deserved, the son of a bitch. Oh, you don't really mean that. Well, I can even prove you don't really mean that. Now that we brought back the declaration, I think I'll take my cut of the earnings and look me up in the underworld if you ever need me. I usually hang there since ghouls don't hit on me all the time. Oh, okay, you're off to underworld. Right, now where do I need to go to get the thing to get your gun? Let's have a look. Oh yes, the statement, Statesman's Hotel. Which is somewhere I haven't actually been to yet in the main game. I also don't actually know if I can fast travel there. Because I haven't, don't think I've been anywhere near it in this save. Get out of my way! I haven't seen your son. I don't think I've ever seen your son. Me 
a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a minute. Yes? Evening. Right, let's see if I can get anywhere close to Statesman Hotel. Statesman Hotel is... Ooh. Okay, there's GNR. It's the National Archives. Okay, I think if I go to Chevy Chase, take a little walk to Vernon Square, then take a walk to Vernon Square East, then I can get to it. Also, put your real clothes back on. Yes. I probably won't do too much. Too much fighting, or going too far off the off the beaten track. Just want to do this quick little thing, just just to make Sydney happy and give her give her a nice ending, a, a better ending than what I gave her last time, which was a bullet to the face. Aha! All right, what do we have here? Tenley Town Friendship Station. Oh. Okay, I may have I may have gone slightly the wrong way. Freedom Street Station is apparently what I need. actually get through there to get to it. Um Oh fucker, let's just go back to the wedding. Basically, note from her father, my little moonbeam, blah 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 blah. And then she just gives you her gun. It's a location, I'm, I might go to it in my... in my proper save. Yeah, when I when I explore a bit more of actual DC, I'll probably go. I'll go to the Statesman Hotel and pick up that that audio log. Oh yeah, I was going to go back to the wedding. Okay, I'll do one more one more red wedding, and then I'll call it an end there. I just wanted to see how this new headset would sound, and I'll have a listen to it back after this. I'm, re I'm really hoping it sounds a lot better than it did before, because I, I keep getting these like stat little bits of static or high-pitched whistling behind my recordings, and it's there on some of them, and it's not there on some others. And it's just it's annoying how inconsistent it is. I'm not really sure what the cause of it is, and 
even though, even though you, you can't really hear it through speakers, you can hear it when you listen to it back through headphones, and it just it bugs me. I want I want it to sound good and sound as as close to perfect as can be. Even if it's only me that really goes back goes back and listens to it, I want it to sound as good as it could be. Well, let's see how many people's heads we can get on the walls. Headshot, 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 headshot. Let's get some heads on the walls. Oh, there it goes. All of you need to go on the wall. Yeah, Gary Staley. Henry Young. Oh, no, I haven't got enough AP. Enough. Uh, Gary Staley, just uh, leave me alone. I need to get my AP back. Right. Oh, Diego, you can go on the wall. Young on the wall. And last but not least, Seagrove Holmes, because we can't just put the wall. Get out of the way. And Yeah, you go down. Right, who's on the wall? Seagrove, Holmes, Diego. Um, don't even remember what your name was. Somebody else on the wall here. Oh, Preston's back up. Now he's not. You're on the wall. I think that's Mei Wong. Where'd the um? Where'd the, where'd the vicar go? I can't even see where he's gone. Where? Get back on the floor. Hmm. I think the vicar might have despawned. I can't I see him. There. Oh no, that is that. I think that's. Where? I can't even see who that is. Is that Gary? Stop it now. <laughs> There's three people together up here. Where did Gary... Gary Staley, I think, went onto the floor somewhere. Yeah, here's where he was. Oh, is that him? I don't know who that is, but somebody's ended up behind here. Yeah, let that be a lesson to all of you. I'm not sure what the lesson is, but I've learned it. I resent you calling me a dirty coward, seeing as I'm shooting you face to face at point blank range. Right, Dr. Preston. Oh, hang on. Who was that? Was that Abraham Washington? Over here. Yeah, back on the floor, you Rolf Harris looking fuck. I'm not sure where Abraham is, but he's not here today. Where? Yeah. Yeah. You want some of this? Oh, you took that one. Oh, 
Oh god, he's evolved. I can't even hurt him anymore. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Guys, I've never seen you before in my entire time of day, guys. Yeah, you can lose your head. Gaza, you're pretty tough. You got a shit goatee. Oh, I hear people cowering. You picked a bad time to come out, Ted Strayer. <laughs> oh, Mr. Lopez. Goodbye. Oh, I managed to get him on a target. Oh no, no entry sign. Oh, he looks he looks a bit sullen about it. Hmm. Right, anyone else? I haven't seen Harkness yet. He's in the marketplace. Help! Help! Is it? Oh, who was that? Who was that? In the in the terrible in the terrible jumper. Father. Oh, Father Clifford. I didn't get you. All right. Hang on. I want to nail him to a toilet. Mm, nearly. You're saying I killed her. Also, one of his legs came off somehow. There you go, you go in the toilet. Also, I'd like to... Oh, his arm's in there. <laughs> his arm's in there. I'd like to point out, shooting point blank in the head, one arm and one leg fall off. Or oh, both arms came off. I don't even know where the other arm went. Um, right, marketplace. That's the bloody... Muddy Rudder's worth a look. Oh, hello Trini. <laughs> oh, Bell Bonnie. Oh, I regret not getting this gun sooner. Somebody's not happy about me in here. Oh, hello. Yeah, go back to bed, Brock. Oh, I feel like everybody in the marketplace is not going to be pleased with me. This is why it's called Rivet City now. Everyone's got a giant rivet stuck in their head. Yes, it was nothing. It was definitely nothing. About 50 people have railway spikes in their head, but it was nothing. Oh, no, come on. Yo, I want your head to get launched over the water. We off it goes. <laughs> oh, in the water. We see his floating head. Somewhere in there is a head swimming around. No point trying to kill Pinkerton, he's immortal. Oh, hello everybody. Harkness, you, you might be immortal. Oh, he's really tough. Oh yeah, Harkness is immortal. You, in the pretty dress. Oh, you, you, you took that. Yeah, I was out of AP, so to take that in the bum. Who have we got here? Another security guard. Oh, 
Oh, you were glitching out for a second. Yeah, and then we just got Harkness who... He himself can't be killed. Before I go, there's just one more person I want to see get their head blown off. Probably the person who could take the record for having their head fly the furthest off of a ledge. Oh, now to go back outside. Yeah, enjoy your wedding. Right, back through the market. Oh, there's nobody here. I can take that stuff. I'm not breaking into it. I've already pickpocketed it. I've already lockpicked it. Pickpocketed a cabinet. We're of course going to Ten Penny Tower. Right, and we're going to see how far across the wasteland we can shoot Alistair Ten Penny's head. Uh, let's see how far we can shoot it, and then see if we can actually find it. I have a feeling we won't be able to, but we can try. No, no, that's my room. Hi, Ten Penny. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, the whole body went off. Right, where's the head going? Where's the head going? Okay, the head went somewhere near the road. Straight at, just straight out the front, hang on, yeah. So I've just got to walk out the front door and then just basically walk straight. We might be able to find it. If it doesn't despawn by loading into a different zone, then I might be able to find Tenpenny's head. No, that's not the way. If I can find Ten Penny's head, I'll be really happy. Also, everybody is surprisingly okay with me. Normally in Fallout 3, you even look at somebody wrong, then the, the entire town turns against you. No, everybody's fine with me. Oh, maybe I should kill him in my in my actual run through. Then the tower can be mine. Also, I'll get his fabulous hey. red suit. Hello, open the gate. Right, so if that's Ten Penny's balcony, I can't see his body, but then it may have fallen up there somewhere. I'll wait till it's daylight as well. Okay, that's, that's better. I'm pretty sure this is the way that we were facing when I killed him. Oh, I'm not even sure anymore. I'm going to have to give it another go. 
I'm not actually sure if that's the way that we were facing. I'll have to have a, a, a better look. Okay, well at least I know I can shoot him in the back and then he nobody else minds. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish until death be part. Right, back to the tower. Back to the tower, I'll wait till I'll wait till daytime down here. Head up, shoot him, see which way he went and then see if we can find his head, and then I'll I'll end the stream there. Hello, Mr. Burke. Inspirational, truly. I forgot Mr. Burke's still alive and just wandering around, speaking ominously. Right, ten penny. Ten penny? Ten, ten penny? Ah, here he is. With his Careful, upside down gun. Thing? Can't we talk about this? Okay, he's facing east. East towards the Red Rocket and Robco. No, stop detecting me. Stop detecting me. Head is somewhere on the road near the Robco facility. Also, off you go. Hey there. Hello there. Hey there. Right, yeah, to on the near the road towards Red Rocket. No, not Red Rocket. Robco. I'd be amazed if we can find his head, but I won't be too surprised if we can't. Also, his body is probably around in there somewhere. Okay, there's Tinker Joe. It looked like it landed somewhere in this area. Well, I can't see it. I can't see it just looking straight ahead. Let's have a little look. You'll probably blend in with the ground so well I'll, I'll end up walking straight past it. Let's see if it's not despawned.
I wonder if I gained enough karma to change my karma level here. No, I'm still a scourge of humanity. Here, ten penny. Okay, yeah, that's the that's where we were. But if I start from the fence and work my way forwards. Starting to have doubts now. Don't think we're going to be able to find him, unfortunately. No, I can't see him. This is if he's even, even his head's even still here. Okay, I'll see if his body's there, and I'll put on his suit. And then I'll, I'll take my rightful place at the top of the tower. You're not the boss of me. Aha, here's the body. So presumably, yes, his head would be out there somewhere, but... Oh, I look fabulous. I think that's the that's the best we've looked. That hat, those glasses, and this suit. Well, now that I know that I can kill him without consequence, I may just come and kill him anyway, in my actual save, just so I can take his outfit. Does it give me any protection at all? <laughs> Barely any. But can you really put such a price on looking fabulous? Hello. Hello. And. Nobody minds whatsoever. Right, let's go and take a seat. Charmed, I'm sure. Here's a damn good look. That's a damn good look. I think I do have some some other formal wear in my my cupboard of interesting things. I've got this whole all these clothes. All business wear. Dirty business wear and grimy business wear. Okay, let's see how those look. Let's try to grimy. Hmm. I'd rather it was more of a full suit than jacket and skirt. It's what about the dirty business wear? No, I prefer tenpenny suit because it is a full suit. What about the relaxed wear? Oh, that's horrible. Ugh, dirty girl. Okay, park stroller. Hmm. No, let's put on tenpenny's outfit. Tenpenny's outfit's probably my. That's probably my favourite suit that I found favourite outfit. This combination of stuff is my favourite outfit. And I've got no damage resistance whatsoever, but I look good at least. I'll look good when I die. 
that sort of close-up camera shot with the sad music when I die. I'll look good doing it. Right, and let's take a take a seat. Right, so as we take our place, our rightful place on top of Ten Penny Tower, I'll I'll end the stream here. I'm going to go back and have a listen to it. I'm going to listen and see if I sound any better. Hopefully I do, and hopefully I can stick with this headset in future. And oh no, I stood up. There'll be a lot more Fallout 3 to come. So we're headed. We'll be heading to the pit soon. Go into little lamplight. Go into Oasis. Doing some more stuff for the Brotherhood and stuff for Project Purity. And yeah, I'll end things there. Thank you everybody for joining. Thank you everyone for watching. Of course, find me on you. Find me on YouTube as well. My channel is linked on my Twitch page. Same username as well. All all my previous streams go there. And goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Oh. <laughs>